Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. And so today's video, I want to address something that I've seen quite a few comments on, and that has to do with Shotcut. Now, I've had numerous comments where people would say Shotcut has ads. And so today, I'm going to be talking about that both in Linux Mint, which is the main operating system I use, but also in Microsoft Windows. Now, if you actually go to the main website, which is shotcut.org, it tells you this is a free open source cross-platform video editor. So you shouldn't have to pay anything to use this software, okay? But if you click here to download, one thing that's really important, and probably Shotcut has seen this before, but they say we pledge that our downloads are always free of malware, spyware, and adware. Furthermore, we refuse to bundle any software unrelated to Shotcut, such as browser toolbars or download managers. However, we can only provide that guarantee if you come to this website to download. So that's a very important thing. If you are going to be downloading Shotcut, download it here at shotcut.org. Now, whenever you come here, you have a few options. Now here I'm on Linux Mint, but whenever I'm Microsoft Windows, I'm going to show you that as well. So if you happen to download the executable in Microsoft Windows, in this case for Linux distributions, I'm downloading a tar or app image. You have two places you could download. You could download at Foss Hub or GitHub. So if I right click and open here, this is GitHub. So to download directly, or if I come here, it'll go to Foss Hub. Okay. So whenever you download these versions, these should not have any ads at all. Now within Linux distributions, there are a number of ways that you could actually download and install the software. Now, if you actually want the latest version of this software, then I highly recommend that you download the app image. Okay. So let me show you that. So if I were to download the app image, which I already have, it's right here. Okay. Now, Within Linux Mint, this is something that's very, very important, and it will allow you to run this app image. But before I do that, let me show you the current version of Shotcut that I'm using. So if I go here to help and go to about Shotcut, it's going to tell me my current version is 21.06.29. Okay. And if you go to the website, the current version is 21.10.31. And I'm going to show you here in a bit why I don't have the latest version. And also, this is something that's pretty important as well. If you go up here to help and go to upgrade, it'll say, do you want to automatically check for updates in the future? And I say yes. And what's going to happen is it's going to see whether or not there's a new version. In this case, it's telling you there is a new version available. Check for updates. And I'll do that again. And then if you click on it, it'll bring you to the actual version page. And then if you click on download, it'll go to the same download page that I just showed you here. Now, let me show you why the version I have is not the latest. And also, this is my preferred way of actually updating my software, at least in Linux Mint. And then I'm also going to show you how you could run the app image version of this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close this right now. And this is Linux Mint that I'm using. So if you're using some other distribution, it might be different. So if I go to administration and go to software manager, uh, this is where I actually get all my software. I don't like to go to websites and download it that way, even though you can get the latest version. Uh, but this is the way that I prefer. So if I go here to flat pack, or you can even just do a search. I like doing flat packs because the upgrade process, normally you're going to get the latest version with flat pack, but that's not always the case. But in this case, here's Flatpak, and the latest version that they have here is 21.06.29. And so this is really normal for most Linux distributions. Uh, they do like to have the most stable version. And so you might not always get the latest and greatest, but it is the most stable. And eventually they will upgrade this. So normally this is what I do because it's a lot easier for me. It's more convenient and I don't necessarily need the latest version all the time. And I would say from a security standpoint, you know, I feel like it's safer uh, whenever I get it through the app application platform store, whatever you want to call it, you know. And so um, that's my preferred way of actually downloading and installing. And so this is something Linux has been doing for a long time before they actually had this whole idea of an app store. Okay. And so uh, that is my preferred method. 
But if you do want the latest version, then you want to download it. And in this case, if you're going to download the flat pack, you know, um, you should have this in your software manager. And so if you download a flat pack and you double click on it, it's going to tell you that it is already installed and it already has that. So, you know, I don't really need that. But the app image is the latest version. So what's great about the app image is it is self-contained. It's not going to install anything on your computer. This has everything it needs to run. But the thing is, you need to make sure this is an executable file. OK, so this is how you do it in Linux Mint. You can do this in command line, but I prefer using a GUI because it's a lot easier for me. So if you actually select the file and then if you try to run it right now, it's going to ask you to choose a program. It's an unknown file type, which is not what you want. What you want to do first is to right click on your mouse, go to properties and then here under permissions, there is an execute allow executing file as a program. This is what you need to check. So when you check this, what it's basically doing behind the scenes is it's changing the permissions of the file to make it executable. OK, so for anybody who uses command line, it's chmod plus X and then a the file name, which makes it an executable file. So now I've done this through the GUI and I say close. So now if I double click on it, it's going to execute the file. And there it is. And now if I actually open this up and go to about shortcut, this is the latest version of shortcut 21.10.31. And the thing is, this is separate from the version that I actually have installed on my computer. So if I go here and then I go to shortcut, see, this is a different version and I go to help and about. This is the older version. And so that is the difference. Uh, but in this case, I did install it on my computer through the software manager. So that's more convenient for me. But if I always wanted to run the latest version that they have, I would highly recommend that you download the app image, make it executable. OK, so those are the main ways. And also going back to what I said earlier, if you do it this way, you get it from the official website at shotcut.org then you should get no ads on your actual program. OK, so be sure that you go to shotcut.org and then go to the appropriate places to actually download and install the software. And in the future, if you wanted to upgrade, you could always check for an upgrade. So now that I've shown you how this works in Linux Mint, let me go to Microsoft Windows to show you how it works there. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And now I'm in Microsoft Windows and this works exactly the same way as it does in Linux Mint and other distributions. So whenever I open up Shotcut, if you already have it installed, I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did in Linux Mint. And this works almost the same way. So if you go up here to help and go to about, it tells you the current version that you're in, at least for me, it's 20.11.28. But just like I did in Linux Mint, if you go back here and go to upgrade, you want to make sure that it checks it automatically for updates in the future. And when you say yes, the same thing's going to happen. It's going to tell you there's a brand new version available. And if you click on it, uh, just like I did in Linux Mint, it'll go to the actual version page. And then you can go here to download. And I'm just going to go ahead and download the installer. You can download the zip file as well. And just like in Linux Mint, there's like two different sites that you could go to. So I'm going to download the exe file. And it gets it from fasthub.com. And then once you open it, you could go ahead and install it. And I'm going through this so that anybody who feels like, you know, um, this isn't the uh, a version that they thought they got, you know, or maybe they're seeing ads. I'm just showing you that if you actually download it from Shotcut's website or the links to from their website, that you will get one that has no ads on there. And so, um, and a lot of people do use Microsoft Windows. It is the most popular operating system. And the Mac OS version, I don't have a Mac, so I can't tell you, you know, whether or not the version on Mac is the most recent. But as I can see here, I do see that, okay? But since I don't have a Mac, I'm not able to show you that. But I just wanted to show you whether you are in a Linux distribution like Linux Mint or you're in Microsoft Windows that you are going to get a ad free version of Shotcut because that's really how it's intended. This is free and open source software. And if you get it from the official website and the official partners that is hosted on, you should not get any type of ads on this video editor. 
And so now I've upgraded. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, it is the latest version 21.10.31. And it even tells you that whenever I started it up. So let's go ahead and start it up again. I might have missed that. It tells you that you are on the latest version of Shotcut. So if I open this up again, and you see it briefly, see, you are running the latest version of Shotcut. So hopefully this video will help anybody who's brand new to Shotcut. And if they are seeing ads in Shotcut, then more than likely you didn't download it from the official website. And so the official website is going to be shotcut.org. And whenever you go to download, it's going to go either to FOSHub or GitHub. And if you are on Linux distributions, like I showed you earlier on Linux Mint, there's also the app image and flat pack as well. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you download shotcut beyond the official method, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you didn't want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.